One of the interesting things about the Pythagorean theorem and right triangles is that there's a direct relationship between a right triangle and the equation of a circle. So we're going to actually just take a look at that here and see if we can figure this out a little bit. So on the side over here, I'm going to use the space instead of the diagram being right in the box here. I'm going to actually make it over on the side. So let's make a little x and y axis here. So there's a y axis and then let's Let's go ahead and make an x-axis, kind of like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a circle on this x and y axis. So if you happen to have a compass, that would be great if you could take that out. And let's make a little sketch here. And we're going to make a circle right there, centered right in the middle there. Um, well, for now, we'll call it the origin or point zero zero, but that center point of the circle really could be anywhere on our graph, anywhere along the x-axis and y-axis. It wouldn't have to be centered right at zero zero. It could be centered anywhere. Now, let's take a look at, say, right here, and let's make a radius that goes out to that point right there. So let's sketch out a radius right here. And actually, let's make that a different color. Let's make that red. Okay, so we've made a radius. All right, now, what if we tried to make a right triangle out of that? So let's go ahead and make a right triangle by dropping down a line here and drawing over a line here, back to the center of our circle. Okay, so we've made a little right triangle there out of the point on the outside of the circle. The red segment here is our radius. And let's think back to what we just did on the last problem here. This point at the center, uh, we're going to label H K. Um, H comma K. H and K are, are used just as variables standing for the x value of the center point and the y value of the center point. Right on our graph here, it kind of looks like 0, 0, and I guess it is, but this center point could be anywhere. The center of our circle could be anywhere, so we're just going to call it h comma k, where h is the x value of the center, k is the y value of the center. And then let's take this point on the outside of the circle and let's just call it x squared, right here. Now think back to what we were doing. Oh, by the way, why don't we go ahead and label this right here the radius. So radius or r, call that the radius. Think back to what we were doing on the distance formula problem, how we were getting the values of the sides of this right triangle right here. The bottom leg of this right triangle is really found by taking and subtracting the two x values of our points, because it's along the x-axis, so to speak. So that distance right there is really found by taking our x value over here minus the x value over here. So on our diagram, the x minus h, okay, whatever those two numbers are, we would subtract them and we would get that distance. And then the other leg of our triangle would be found by just subtracting the two y values of the points. Now we label the y values y and k, so this distance right here would really be y minus k. Okay? So from these labels right here, we can come up with the equation of a circle because no matter where we put that point on the outside, we can always draw a, a radius out to it and can make a little right triangle out of it. And the radius won't change, meaning the hypotenuse of that right triangle won't change. So based on where our center is and what the radius is, we are automatically going to create the same circle every time. So here is actually the equation then for a circle. It looks something like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now, h and k would be the center of our circle, so the numbers that go in the h spot and the k spot tell us where the center of the circle is, and the r is the radius of our circle. 
by the way, this should be an R squared right here. I guess I forgot to write that in. So make sure that you have R squared. So X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. Does that look a little bit familiar to you? Basically, it's just the same as the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared right there. Because the equation of our circle actually comes from making a right triangle and the radius length is basically found by using the distance formula. And therefore, we use the Pythagorean theorem, we come up with the equation of a circle. So we're not going to do too much with this, but let's do a couple examples down below so we can kind of see how this works. So here's the equation of a circle right here. It produces a specific circle with a specific center point and a specific radius. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. So first off, I'm just going to rewrite the equation of our circle formula right here. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Okay, now let's write down what we have in our problem here. So we have x plus 1. Well, I don't see a plus right here. So I want to write it with a minus in there. So x minus, well, x plus 1 would be the same thing as x minus negative 1, right? If you minus a negative, we would have the same thing as x plus 1 up here. So to keep with our formula, to keep with our equation of our circle, so we have minus sign, we should really make that h value negative 1, because we know minus a negative is the same thing as a plus. So this right here is really the same thing as x plus 1 squared. All right, then we've got y minus 2 squared, so we don't need to change that one, is equal to, okay, 9 is r squared. So what would r have to be if r squared was 9? Hopefully, I hear you saying to yourself, that's right, 3 squared is 9. So now we've sort of restated our equation from up here more in this form. So now we've got x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So what does that mean? Well, our h value right here is the negative 1. Our k value is the 2. All right, so when I say negative 1, I mean this number right here is our h value. This number right here is our k value. And, all right, so 2 is our k value right here. And then this right here is our radius. So our center of our circle is going to be at negative 1, 2. And the radius of our circle is 3. Once we know those things, now we can actually make a fairly good sketch, or if we have our compass, we can actually make our circle where it is supposed to be on our graph. So the center point is at negative 1, 2, so that would be right there, x value of negative 1, so we go left, and then y value of 2, so we go up. And then the radius is 3. So all the way around here, if we go 3 units up, we go 3 units to the right, we go three units down from the center point. We go three units to the left of our center point. That kind of gives us the outline of our circle. But since I have a compass here, I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to actually draw out the circle. And so we have a circle that looks like this. So the equation given here would produce this circle, where the center of the circle is at negative 1, 2, and the radius of our circle this distance right here, that is a distance of 3. Okay, example number 2 down here kind of does the opposite. It gives you the center and it gives you the radius and then you're supposed to make the equation of the circle and then sketch a graph of the circle. So let's go back to our regular equation, our formula, our equation of a circle formula. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. All right, now let's just insert our numbers that we're given. So x minus, remember the center point, so label that up here as h comma k, so that's our h, that's our k, and then this is our radius, that's our r value. So x minus negative 3 squared plus y minus 2 
squared is equal to 4 squared. So we put our h value into the h spot in the formula. We put our k value into the k spot in the formula. And put our radius into the r spot. Let's just clean this up a little bit to write our final equation. So when we have x minus negative 3, that's really the same as x plus 3. So we'll just clean that up. Um, y minus 2 squared is fine. And then 4 squared is 16. So that probably would be our final version of our equation. And remember, our center point is at negative 3, 2. So let's actually graph that now. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So there's our center point at negative 3, 2. And we had a radius of 4. So just like in the last problem, let's go 4 units up, 4 units to the right, 4 units down, and 4 units to the left. And then let's sketch in our circle. Or if you have a compass, you can do better than making a sketch. You can make a nice drawing of your circle, or a nice construction, really, of your circle. And now we have our circle centered at negative 3, 2 with a radius of 4, and we have the equation of our circle.